here we are, cruising along on the ocean. Stranded. Hello and welcome back to the South Pacific. This is Keith K, and on this episode of my Stranded Deep tutorial, we're going to cover hunting so you can get yourself some nice cooked food. And before we're done, we are going to catch and cook some of these seagulls right here. So before we get started, with the actual hunting, let's make sure that we are prepared and we're going to start off with building ourselves a bow. Now there have been some changes to the crafting menu if you've noticed. We now have a refined knife, um, we have a crude spear and a refined spear. We also have a fishing spear, crude bow, the arrow for the crude bow, a spear gun, and a spear gun arrow. Uh, we're going to start with making a crude bow because I do have a few arrows. So here you need just a stick and a lashing. Very straightforward. Alright, so here's our bow. And we'll go ahead and craft that. Now we can pick this guy up. And as you can see I've got three arrows here. So let's take a look and see if any of these guys are drifting away down to a rock. Uh, that's the best way to hunt them. They will kind of hang out, scream at you, but every so often one will break away. And you'll be able to hopefully get yourself some seagull. Uh, nope. I've not seen anybody break away so we may take a short break until I can... Here we go. No. Nope. Alright, I'll be right back once I've got one in sight. Alright, there we go. We've got a couple that have landed. Now, let's see if we can get close enough. Uh, they don't give you a lot of time, so you kind of got to be quick or patient. Alright, now we'll zoom in. Let's right click. We missed that one, but let's go for this one. There we go. So you can see, you may lose your arrow if you're shooting into the water. Uh, there's a nice school of fish for later. Uh, but you just have to wait for them to come down and have a little patience. And now you can grab the bird, and you also, hopefully you can recover your arrow. Uh, they're fairly cheap to make, but um, once you see that the birds are coming down, you may want to just hang out in that spot so you can get a few of them. See, he's going to take off. But we may see another one come back down. Uh, you also can crouch if you want to reduce the chance of scaring them off. Uh, looks like they're all headed over this direction now. So you follow the flock. Yeah, they're headed out there. And they may be leaving us. Let's see, I just saw one go down. Maybe we can catch him if we're lucky. Ah, I spooked him. Here's one. Let's see. Got him. All right. So we've got two birds. I think that's enough to start. So go ahead and grab him, and we'll grab the arrow. And we'll talk about what to do next in just a minute. All right, I've spotted a boar on this island, and they can be a little tricky because they're very skittish. You can't get close. Um, I recommend crouching up on them. Let's see if we can get a look at them. There he is. So you may want to, he's going in that direction. Sometimes you want to get ahead of him. Where did he go? There he is. You can't get too close because they will run off. I don't see an arrow, so I think we got them. But now we got to find them. Because one arrow won't do it. There he goes. So 
Sometimes after I've hit him a few times, uh, I will go in for the kill with a spear. But that can also be tricky. You can run around for quite a while trying to find him. There he is. Yep, you can see the arrow is sticking out of him. So, we don't want to finish him off. We don't want to let that go for too long. So I don't know if he'll just die. And they run around kind of erratic. Yeah, so I'm now out of arrows. I think there's, yeah, there's definitely two in him. So let's go to our spear. This may not work. We'll find out. Ah, come on, sucker! Come on! Whoop. Well, that was a golden opportunity. I screwed up. They will occasionally do that. They'll run into somewhere and get stuck, and then you can just get them. And again. You can also use the crude spear to catch crabs. The crabs are fairly straightforward and you can see there he is now the issue with spears is that when you catch something you have to drop it and then you can oh, that didn't work you have to drop it and then pull the thing off that you want there you go hold it down is the key so the crab then comes off and then you can pick the spear up and you can go for another crab. Uh, that was really a target of opportunity. You just happened to see him there. I don't know if there if we'll see any more. But I am going to keep looking for my boar. So I'll be back once I've got him. And we'll take it from there. Alright, so here we have our seagull. Um, one of two that we caught just a little while ago. And before we can do anything with them, we've got to skin them. This is true of all the things that you can cook. So the crabs, the boars, the seagulls, um, anything that you can cook, the fish, certainly, you now have to skin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to drop these guys on the ground. And let's throw in Mr. Crab, too, because he will be tasty. And in order to skin them, you've got to have the refined knife. So the refined knife is made from one stone tool, one stick, and one lashing. All right, you can do some damage with it. It's great for early in the game when you're harvesting uh, fibrous plants, um, small small palm trees, so that you can um, you know make lashings. So it's good for that. I've got happen to already have one, so we'll go ahead and grab this guy. And uh, you can see there it says hold E to skin. And that's pretty much all you do. You just skin this guy up oh, and uh, it'll fade away. And you can see I now have a medium meat. So they don't break down by type of animal once you skin them. There it is. And I just put it away. And that'll fade out too. It's been a little touchy, but I think you get the point. Oh, it's disgusting. And that's it. So now we've got two small meats, those are the birds, and one medium meat, which is the crab. Now these will spoil if we don't cook them. So that'll be one of the things that we address that we address next. It looks like the sun's about to go down, so I will demonstrate that when we get to a new day. Now, before the sun completely goes down, I happen to catch the boar that I had hit with the arrows earlier. So we're going to go ahead and skin him. Same thing. I'm going to hold E. And in this case, you may be able to skin him more than once because it's a larger animal. Of course, it's getting completely dark now. Uh, 
and he fades away. And now I can recover my arrows, and then I'll be back. All right, we got a good morning for fishing here in the South Pacific, and um, we're going to get started with the last piece for hunting, which is fishing. Now, uh, if you've played the game for a while, you will have experience fishing potentially with a crude spear or what was previously known as a spear. Um, but you'll notice both for the crude spear and for the refined spear, they now say they cannot be used to catch fish. So they're still uh, useful to defend against sharks and ocean predators. Um, you can also throw them at uh, boars, um, crabs, and such, uh, and try to catch them. You can just spear crabs, which is the easiest thing to do. But uh, now, and we've seen that you know, just a little while ago, but now we'll look at the fishing spear. And to produce a fishing spear, you simply need two sticks and one lashing. And it's really not good for much else, but it is good for fishing. So we're going to go ahead and craft that. Again, that's two pieces of sticks and a lashing. All right, so we'll grab our fishing spear. Looks pretty awesome. And then just head to the water. And the easiest thing to do is find some shallow water so you're not you're not being hunted while you are fishing. And then we just got to find ourselves some fish. It's usually good to walk in the shallows um, and they'll show up. There we go. Here we got some guys. So when you see the name, it means you probably got a good shot at it. There we go. And we caught one. So the trick with these is, just like with the bow and arrow we saw with the seagull, um, you have to, if you want to keep fishing, so E to interact, hold it down, you grab your fish, and you can pick your spear back up, and you can go back in for some more. Because, honestly, it's not that worth it to just catch and cook one fish. Here we are. So you may spend a little bit of time running back to the shore, or at least that's what I do. So again, uh, if you just tap it, you're going to pick the spear back up, the fishing spear back up, with the fish still on it. So you want to drop it, and then you want to hold it down fish will pop off and you grab your spear switch back let's go see if we can get at least a few more so I'm gonna fish for a little bit um, and then uh, I will uh, come back All right, I had a little trouble with my audio I apologize for that but I did want to also mention that you can if you choose to go out a little deeper and fish as well. Um, the one issue with that is simply that you have to keep running back and forth to the beach. Uh, so that can just take more time. Um, but certainly if you find that you can hunt, or sorry, spear these guys a little better because they're easier to see, you don't have um, sort of the water refraction going on. You may choose to do that, especially if you can get into the water pretty close to shore um, and aren't worrying about running back and forth quite so much. So I'm going to keep fishing here um, so I can build up some fish, but this pretty much concludes the episode on hunting and fishing. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and would like to see more, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment below if you are so inclined. And um, I will be working on my cooking tutorial next. Thank you.